Hey everyone, this is Buddy, back with another video, and Google just announced that they are removing their unlimited high quality photo storage from their Google Photos. It's no longer free, that is. So if you guys use Google Photos as much as I have in the past, you guys probably have tons of photos on there, will stay on there, which is good, but it's no longer gonna be free unlimited storage going forward. You'll have to pay for a subscription if you use more than your 15 gigabytes of free storage that they just include with all the Google accounts up front. So if you guys are gonna continue to use that, just be aware of you might run out of storage pretty soon here if you store a lot of videos and pictures on that site. Now, I would highly recommend looking into Amazon Photos because Amazon Photos is still free and it's still unlimited high quality actually, so original high quality of your photos so it's not like weirdly compressed like Google Photos was. This is actually full quality photos. They don't do videos though. So if you like to store a lot of videos, Amazon Photos is not the way to go. But as far as taking tons of pictures, Amazon Photos is definitely more worth it now, especially if you have a Prime membership. It's just included in that cost, so definitely migrate some of your stuff over there. If you guys wanna know how to migrate your Google Photos library over there, it is apparently a bit tricky and nuanced as if there's not a super easy and clean way to do it. I'll look into that and see if I can find you guys a better way, but after searching, there really wasn't, but if you guys wanna see that video, let me know down in the comments below, but I just wanted to let you guys know that that is a big change coming. I think it's not in effect until next year, so 2021, maybe I think in June 1st or something like that, I remember reading. This is very important for all of you photographers and people that have it just to set up and auto uh, upload to it. Because iCloud Photos, in my opinion, kind of stinks and Google Photos was previously the best one out there to use. I mean, you could search for people's faces, you can tag people, it'll store a bunch of data about the pictures, like where it was taken, what camera it was, or phone, and the details about like ISO shots and stuff like that, just a bunch of camera tech, and now it's going away. I mean, the free version, I guess, <laughs> is going away. You'll have to pay for it and 100 gigabytes I think is like two dollars a month and it just goes up from there with their Google One subscription and that's not really appealing to me but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments below thanks for watching if you're still watching make sure you hit that subscribe button it's free easy and you can undo it at any time but thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one